Hi everybody. Today's lesson is on diffusion through a cell membrane. And if you were to look at a cell, the question is, how do nutrients like glucose get from outside the cell in the bloodstream into the mitochondria where they're needed? And of course the answer is the nutrients will diffuse from high concentration in the blood to low concentration in the cell. The problem is there's this thing in the way called the cell membrane. So today we're going to take a look at how do things pass through the cell membrane and is a membrane semi-permeable. To do that we're going to create a model. What I have here is just a little bit of cooking starch that we put in a beaker and here I just have a regular old sandwich bag and I'm going to pour some starch, just doesn't matter how much, into the sandwich bag and twist it shut. Now the idea is this is the model of a cell. So ask yourself if this is a model of a cell, what does the baggie represent and what does the starch solution represent? So now the baggie, I tied it off so that it doesn't leak. And we've got a starch solution in the baggie. And I'm going to put this model of the cell into a solution here. And if you'll notice, it's got a bit of a orangish color to it because this is water with iodine added to it. And what we want to find out is, is the baggie permeable to the iodine or the water or the starch? And if so, is it a decent model of, of a cell? So what we're going to do is let this sit overnight and we'll come back and take a look at it and see if anything's happened to give us some evidence. In the meantime, what I'd like to do is show you a little something. If you take starch and put it in a test tube, Get a little bit in there. And I'm going to take some of the iodine that's from the beaker here and pour that in. You'll notice the color change. So whenever starch and iodine meet each other, they actually have a chemical reaction and the solution will turn a dark blue to almost a black color. Okay. That'll be a hint for what we see in our experiment next. See you in 24 hours. Okay, here we are after 24 hours. We'll take a look at our model. And if we pick it up, we'll see a pretty big change here. So initially, the solution in the bag was white, kind of a starchy white color. Now it's a very dark and a blackish color. The solution of iodine looks about the same. From that information, can you explain was the bag permeable to anything? In other words, can anything get into or out of the baggie? Did iodine go from high concentration in the beaker here into the baggie? Or did starch that was in the baggie go from high concentration in the baggie out and get out into the solution? And the question is, which happened and why? And how is this a model of diffusion or a cell membrane? Okay, please answer the questions on the uh, practice quiz for the lab, and we'll talk to you soon.